Back when I was just a really young kid, my dad would always just take me out in the backcountry in a backpack and bring me up on his ski tours that he would do with friends, and I'd be this little infant just out in the backcountry. My dad definitely, once he got us out there, he didn't want it to like slow him down too much, so we had to keep up. He would just take me out there and like push me through the day and just enjoy the outdoors and come ski touring with him and hike mountains to go mountain bike. Like you can die doing what we love doing, so just always have that in the back of your head that you really don't want to screw up and you just want to make the right decisions beforehand so nothing does go wrong. Sun's out, Birkin. Are, buddy. Yeah, there's definitely this memory I have of being in the lift line when I was probably like six or seven years old and having a local guy just kind of be like, oh, what are you going to do when you grow up? I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, he's like, well, what kind of job are you going to get? And I was like, I'm just going to keep skiing. What are you talking about? I don't know. My parents have always just been super supportive of me just doing what I love and I've loved it ever since I was young. So I just kept doing it. Hey kiddo, give me a wave. Whoa, I'm all locked up, I'm in a secret. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the time, I was just purely adventure centric. You know, that was purely my motive <laughs> was, uh, you know, wide open spaces and just, just adventure. You know, the kids slowed us down for sure a little bit, but I mean, they almost didn't really miss out on the outdoors. I suppose there, <laughs> there was nine months maybe <laughs> where they were too little to be outside. I mean, we were literally taking infant kids in Kelty backpacks on the chairlift. I mean, that whole concept of free-range parenting can be viewed as irresponsible, and I think there's a fine line, but you really can let your kids just go outside and do whatever the heck they want and explore. And I think they learn so much doing that, you know? Our kids were skiing solo when they were like five and seven or something. And uh, yeah, we give our kids a ton of freedom, and it seems like it's paid off. Whoa, good precision. There you go. Okay, crazy man. Oh, sweet landing. <laughs> Just always being brought up with a positive attitude in the mountains and being able to enjoy every experience definitely got me more excited to keep doing that. And it just got me to where I am now. My dad was never like a filmer or any sort of guy that knew what he was doing with cameras. I, well, I don't know. Shit, am I filming? No. Yeah, I am. But he decided to buy one once we started to ski pretty cool things. Holy and shit! Woo! We spent the entire next winter just filming as much as we could in comps and out of comps and traveling around North America. And we just kind of did that for a few years and started making little edits here and there and people really liked it. Yeah, dude, yeah! That was freaking awesome. Yeah! All right, it is filming. Yeah, it became pretty apparent early on that Perkin had some serious potential. He just seemed to engage in the mountains in the way that I, this seemed really odd for a kid. And yeah, and he seems to have an affinity for it. He just kind of showed me that I could keep progressing myself and I've got the chance to go start skiing with TGR and find my way into the bigger train, which I'm excited to do. And being in these new places, getting to explore the world is pretty special and it just makes me feel so just lucky to make it a career. 
He's building some sort of a jump. I do not think this one's gonna work. <laughs> oh my god. You know, if you get your kids into back injury skiing, you're basically exposing them to some level of risk avalanche wise. So yeah, I've just tried to be really, really blunt about it. Like, you know, you can die and this is why I do this and this is why we're not gonna do this on a certain day. Just having that base from a young age just really made me confident in the mountains and I guess that's helped me be able to ski the way I do now. I got introduced to Moonlight and the longer train here. The vertical that you get from a chairlift here is just unreal compared to any other place on the planet. A lot of epic train with a lot of supportive people and it just is a really good way to prep me for skiing bigger, faster lines in AK. I didn't even know my dad was up here skiing that day. I got this phone call up here from a friend right away. I kind of knew that something was not right. I have a 51 year old male with ANO times three. Chief complaint severe pelvic pain. Good man. Thank you. She just gave me the news that my dad had shattered his pelvis and crushed his iliac crest and was ambulance down to Bozeman to get surgery like immediately. Cruised down as fast as I could, drove all the way down to Bozeman and then immediately they're like, we have to fly to Seattle. And I was just so confused on like everything that was happening. It was a huge wave of emotions and no one was really sure what the outcome was gonna be. In the back of my head, that was definitely a thought. It's like, he's getting older. He's already had a few injuries that haven't stopped him, but could this be the one? Definitely a big sigh of relief when he got the news that everything was gonna be okay. They ended up bolting him together in under 24 hours. When I hit, all I heard was bone crunching. And yeah, it was probably a bit of a shock. You gotta wonder when you get hurt as a parent, you know, like how are your kids looking at this? For Perkin, I think he honestly thought maybe my desire to be outside doing stuff would, would change dramatically. Um, you know, maybe I'm not gonna have to go out and rip around with my dad anymore. Well, good to be back up here. I'm gonna grab the pick, Perkin. Where's Jed? He's like 
two turn. I think he's probably on that big right hander. Looks so much better than it did last year. Well, if you look at this stuff too, Park, and it's super loose right now, I'm like that would be easy. Yeah. Easy hand work right now. Yeah. No, you'll it does able, look you'll better. Be able to uh, no. Yeah, you could probably step up that. You could bit. not. <laughs> yeah, you could. I can. don't think. What's up, bud? You. I'm following in my dad's footsteps. He's got a bike trail business, so I just started digging in with an excavator and get to go build free ride trails. I feel super fortunate to have these kind of experiences with Park, and it's just fun to watch skills that you impart on your kids. Super, super rewarding. And if you do that stuff together, yeah, you're gonna have lifelong bonds. Let's go, right? Let's go set the new bikes up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> My dad definitely has set an example for the way I want to live my life. Pretty sick to watch him still just shred after crushing himself in the winter and then being 51. Makes everything look easy. He's just got a giant bank of experiences, you know, because what is life if it's not what you've done with it and pushed you forward, made you a better person? You know, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm there. I've, I've done some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff and can look back and be pretty happy and yeah, I'd hope the same for my kids. Perfect. so blessed if you can have deep intense bonding experiences with your kids you know if it's coaching them through baseball or you know spending a whole winter with like a goal you know you create bonds of trust that are pretty hard to achieve and I think that's freaking awesome if that isn't the goal of parenting I don't know what is